lovely. Your blood is really sweet, by the way. It's almost as if you're made of honey. Not like I've tried honey before. What else does it look like I'm doing? If there's a more effective way of drinking blood, I'd love to know. I'd make it as painless as I can for you, but the best parts always hurt the most. Oh, me too! I must have drank too much. I mean, you can faint if you want. The less you struggle, the better it is for me. Yes, I am. Is this your first time encountering one? I sure do hope I'm your first. Wow, I'm honored. That means lesser competition for your blood too. How lovely. I'm done actually, though it'd be nice if you could replenish some blood, cause I'd like more tomorrow. No, I like yours better. Oh, I'll find a way, even if it means knocking you out. <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm not joking when I said your blood tastes really sweet though. I'm so lucky no one else found you. You're such a rare gem. They won't. Not if I hide your scent. I can definitely do that. As long as I'm around you, your scent will be covered. So, what's the secret? To your blood, it's so unnaturally sweet, you know? What's your diet? Yeah, and you're maintaining your composure so well in front of a vampire too. Surely this isn't your first encounter. You're like a professional. Wow, and you're already so used to talking to me? Are you not surprised or afraid of me? Don't you have survival instincts? <laughs> I made sure I drank just enough for you to survive. I can kind of gauge from your size and weight. I'm sure you still have just enough to go about daily life. After your blood has been replenished, I'll return for more. You're exaggerating. I've made it as painless as I could already. You're lucky you've met me and not the others. I'm very gentle. Am I not gentle with you? Let's just say I don't rip your flesh or tear apart your limbs or pull out your organs. <laughs> Aren't you glad you met me? They sure do. Most vampires are... aggressive by nature. So, if they've ever decided to drink your blood, you're not just their blood bag, you'd be their plaything. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'm the attractive looking one too, so you've just lucked out today. You'll recover in the next few days. Hopefully by then, 
You won't be eaten. Oh, you know, sometimes the texture of blood isn't enough to fulfill a vampire's hunger. <laughs> We're in modern times now. Vampires own smartphones too. Although, I still prefer to drink blood delicately. Most likely. I would consider the other vampires who kill off humans not so smart. Think about it. There may be billions of people now. As they kill more people, there'd be lesser food as years go by. We're going to have food shortage in the future. I'd love to add you to my collection if you'd like. You can be my personal blood bank. Why not? Take it as you're donating blood to me. You won't be the only one, of course. I'll find a few people with the tastiest blood and keep them in my collection. Of course, in return, you'll have my protection. It's not such a bad deal, right? Would you like me to bring one to show you? I'm glad you know how to cherish your life. <laughs> yes, I do want to drink your blood. I'm not denying delicious blood. Since you're the first delicious blood I've ever tasted, I treat you special. I can offer you a better life. Free food, free bed, free baths. Of course, to preserve the quality of your blood, I have to give you the best life. That includes your diet, health, and lifestyle. No? <laughs> but of course, I won't force you to come with me. You just don't have a choice. How naive of you. The moment my taste has been set, I'm not letting you go. You belong to me now. <laughs>